So there are numerous, numerous dressings um, that can be used for wound care on the market today. And we're kind of going to go through them in categories. Um, and if, uh, if you have any questions about any of these, uh, if you contact Stephanie, Stephanie can pass the questions on to me, if that's okay, Stephanie. Sure, of course. And then we can talk a little uh, about more information. So if we move down to this end of the table, what you see here are antimicrobial dressings. Uh, and what they do is get rid of bacteria on the surface of the wound. Uh, so this product does that, as does this one and this one. These two products actually get rid of the bacteria in uh, the dressing. So uh, they need to be put on next to the wound and they need to have something to hold it in place. So whether you use a, a band-aid, a simple dressing, or whether you use a cling wrap to hold them in place, it depends on where you are trying to put that dressing. And unfortunately, uh, hydrinitis comes in very awkward to dress dressing places. Would you agree, Stephanie? Completely agree. Yes. So that's what um, using these kinds of products may not be ideal for you, but they do. I just uh, opened this. These are some that are used. Oh. Mm -hmm. So this is a this product is a chlorhexidine product. It um, has the chlorhexidine into this uh, greasy uh, background or, um, and it's put directly on the wound. It, it is sticky um, and you need to cover it with something. This is a silver product and it has, it's meant not to stick. You can see the shiny surfaces and it will deliver some silver into the wound. This is a povidone iodine product. The most common thing that I think you would know um, is a betadine, uh, povidone iodine. It's used a lot on cuts and bruises and what have you. And it is in a mesh. The beauty of this dressing is that when it starts out orange and when the fluid is coming out, it uh, the fluid is coming out of the wound, it causes the iodine to be released from the dressing and the dressing will turn white so that you know that all of the dressing has been used. And then this comes, this is called polyhexamethylene biguanide. It is a relative to this one in that um, it has just an extra molecule on it, but it takes the bacteria up into the dressing and it, it destroys the bacteria in the dressing. This comes in every form of dressing material that you can think of. This happens to be a packing gauze. It comes in a roll gauze, a very wide roll gauze. Um, and the name of that is Curl X AMD. It is great. I just don't have any here, uh, but it's great for putting underneath the breast uh, or in the gluteal fold, uh, and it will, it tends to stay in place. And then there's a product called Sorbat, um, which again, takes and destroys the bacteria within the dressing. All of these, like I said, need a secondary dressing on top of it. Back, as far as cost is concerned, these two are very inexpensive. Um, this is a 9.5 by 9.5 centimeter. It was a 9.5 by 9.5 centimeter. And it is in the neighborhood of, of about a dollar a dressing, as is the uh, AMD, the polyhexamethylene biguanide. The Bactigra runs in around the three to five dollar mark. Um, the Sorbact is in around the ten dollar mark. And the Silver Cell runs in between five and ten. Uh, if you purchase it.